Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. Last episode, we just defeated um, Adia's master, and we just killed the pirate on this ghost ship. So now we can get out of the mist, and we can actually go to our main objective. So let's go there right now. We have a little bit of sailing to do, and then a little bit of walking, but it shouldn't take that long as long as we don't run into any enemies. Okay, I think. And we are severely over leveled at the moment, so not like I need the fights either. Oh, I should probably show you guys. So right now I'm currently level 52 with everyone, 51 with the ring of bell. Um, I think I'm probably supposed to be around late 40s at this point, maybe 40 to late 40. So definitely we're at a good level. Don't have to worry about anything too crazy at the moment. Okay, let's just do the same thing. Alright, let's go into town. What's the matter, Eagle? I don't want to live in this town. What? And why not? I want to go with you! Huh? That's simply not... So, you wish to fight by our side, hmm? Oh, I can't do that. I don't know how to fight. But I still want to go with you. Sorry, bud. Please, take me with you. I'll do anything you ask. That just won't work. Even if you say no, I'm still going. Then we have a problem. Let's go to Commander Goodman's residence. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the inn, save, then we go to the residence. Let's go in the town super quick. Okay, that was just a gift, but there's nothing actually to do. Okay, I've been tricked. Not actually anything to do. We've decided to take Eagle in. My husband has agreed that it would be best. You hear that, Eagle? That's great news! You couldn't wish for a better family than the Goodmans. I hope that when you grow up, we'll see an age free from the ravages of war. I would hate to see you end up a soldier. I believe your husband has what it takes to make that happen. Thank you for your kind words. Well then, Egil, you take care of yourself. We'll be back to check on you. So be on your best behavior. I will. Goodbye, everyone. Sadness. Wary, airy. <laughs> Talk about a shock when Angel said he wanted to come with us. Although it's not like there weren't signs, too. You could see it in his face as far back as when Commander Goodman said they'd take in the boys. Hmm, I suppose now that you mention it, Aerie, is something wrong? You've been staring, staring off behind us. Are you expecting something? The kid. What of him? There's no, there's no way he stayed put. I won't believe it and I won't be tricked. Uh, once bitten, twice, huh? Hmm, he did seem to take those orders from Eleanor awfully well, considering his usual tone. Exactly. Something is fishy here, and I f refuse to be duped. You seem like you almost want him to show up. Haha, ha. she and uh, Egil have an epic rivalry going on. Can't fool me twice, brat. Okay. Um. I don't particularly know where to go right now, so. Guess we'll just go somewhere. It looks like we have to walk all the way back to basically just where we were. So, we run. Uh, okay, guys. So, let's go ahead and uh, head to the Grand Ship. 
Looks like we need to go to the bar. Let's see what's going on. Ah, uh, it's a shame, really, just a shame. Um, I'm loud, I'm irritating, apologies, it's just shame is all. You see, the little inn in Caldisla I use, I use as my base of operations, well, it's going out of business. Seems the old innkeep finally succumbed. Poor man couldn't keep them going. Okay, well, it looks like Caldisla is where we go then. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, walk into Keldisla. See what's going on here. Welcome. Huh? Uh, who are you? I'm a distant relative of the innkeep. He's too sick to get up and about, so I'm filling in for him. He's bedridden. Is it serious? Not at all. The doctor says he doesn't need to stay in bed, but, well, you should see for yourself. Well, we'd better go see him then. Yeah. Are you feeling okay? <clears throat> He's having a nightmare. Oh, him. <sighs> I guess he's become despondent since Owen died. His son was everything to him. It must be hard to deal with it alone. What about that girl? She's related to him, right? She has to go back to her home soon, I hear. How do you know that? Oh, it, it just came up. Let's check my journal before things take a turn for the worse, hmm? We'll bring the orphan to the inn we set out from. That sounds relevant, no? Oh, this is the inn we set out from. And the orphan, I guess that means Ego? That's nonsense! Mrs. Goodman has given him a good home. Come to think of it, Eagle's parents were guards, just like Owen. He said he was raised by his kind grandfather after they died. But... It doesn't have to be permanent, just until the old man gets better. Give, give him a reason to live. Do and... you think we could have Eagle stay here a while? I guess that's up to Eagle. Right. Okay. I guess let's go grab Eggle then. Do we have to drive all the way back? Drive all the way back. Fair enough. Okay, we are almost back at the town. Let's go ahead and run in here. Let's go grab Ego. Maybe he'll want to live with the old man. Hey, you guys! You came to see me! Hello, Ego. You look happy. He's been bouncing off the walls ever since this morning, when he heard you were coming. He isn't always this way? No. Since you left, he's been moody most of the time. Is that true, Eagle? Mrs. Goodman is very good to me. And this place is amazing! But I... I still want to travel with you. <sighs> Hey, Egil, can I tell you something? It's about a captain of the guard who lived in a far-off land. 
He died in battle, fighting to protect his kingdom. Just like my mother and father. And this man's father, he lies sick in bed at the shock of his loss. The captain's father has been of great help to all of us. We owe him a great deal. I was thinking, if you would spend some time with the captain's father, I believe it might help him get better. What do you think, Agel? What? So you didn't come to ask me to go with you? That's a shame. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. I can't say no to you. Thank you so much, Agel. If this is Agel's decision, I won't stop him. But you come back anytime you want, okay? I will. Thanks for everything, Mrs. Goodman. Okay. We take him back to Keldissa. Tiz's his thoughts. Something on your mind, Tiz. You look pensive. Um, yeah, a bit, I guess. Thinking about Eagle? He'd just gotten settled at the Goodmans, and now he's being shipped off to a foreign land? Yeah, there's that, that too. You mean Eleanor, don't you? Yeah, the two of them had decided to take him in, and now they'd had just enough time together to make it painful to part. I feel terrible. I feel the same. She mustered a smile to see him off, but inside. Can't be helped, I'm afraid. We can encourage him to write her once he's settled in Caldisla. I wouldn't mind ferrying the boy to the Goodmans every once in a while, either. Seconded. And aren't we forgetting someone here? We brought the boy along on a lot of good intentions and not much planning. What happens if the innkeep says no? It all hinges on him. I might have a backup plan. Let's pay the king a visit before the two of them meet. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can get the king to be like, hey, we're gonna train this boy up for Owen's position. That'll give, um, Eagle a place and a purpose. It'll give the old man reason to live, you know, to take care of a new Owen, you know. It's basically a perfect setup, honestly. But, once again, we must travel across the map back and forth, sorry. As long as we get Eagle, we're gonna spot. That's important. All right, back at Kel Disla. Let's go see what the innkeep says. Or technically, let's go talk to the king first, then the innkeep. Let's go see how the king is doing. We haven't seen him since the uh, since the beginning of the game, actually. Oh, and you know what? This is just for sentimental sake. Um, let's help the shop out, huh? Let's give him some money. It's our hometown. You know. Okay, let's see what the king has to say. That about sums it up. What do you think, your majesty? A fine idea, I must say. I have been concerned about the innkeep myself. Egel, it is admirable of you to agree to follow in the innkeep's footsteps. The kingdom of Kaldisla welcomes you. be a powerful soldier one day like my mother and father before me like Tiz I want to be a mighty warrior with a kind heart who can protect the ones he loves <laughs> make me tear up well said well said fine sentiments for a boy to have very well then you shall be given access to our training hall Lego and I would be honored if you would accept this gift. What is it? A badge we give our young soldiers. My captain of the guard, Owen, also wore one once. This marks you as an apprentice soldier for the kingdom, Eggle. 
I hope to see you train hard and become a first-rate soldier. Wow! Thank you! Thank you, Your Highness. By the way, Tiz, how is the reconstruction of Narende Village proceeding? With all your travels to save the world from peril, you must find little time to return, no? Perhaps you could put Eggle here in charge of the reconstruction? Reconstruction? You would be acting on Tiz's behalf. I'll do it! Are you sure you can handle all of this at once? Helping out at the end, training to be a soldier, and supervising the reconstruction? That's a lot to take on. No sweat for me! You have unlimited potential, Eggle. When the time comes, you shall choose your own path. Until then, be fearless and follow your heart wherever it may take you. Oh, it's you. It's been a while. Ah, you have a young boy with you. And what's this? He wears the badge of a young soldier. That takes me back. My son treasured his above all else. You remind me of him a bit, you know? to be like your son Owen one day. My mother and father were guards as well. You don't say. I'm sure you'll get there one day. Counselor Six? So you have returned, Alternus. Yes. Not long ago. I was told you have an urgent report. Can it not wait until the Council of Six convenes? No, it cannot. It appears the Fire Crystal has been awakened. The remaining Black Blades continue to fight alongside the Sword Bearers. However, no word has come from Commander Kami Izumi. It seems that morale is plummeting. Our only option left is an all-out defense of the Earth Crystal. We must cut our losses in that realm. You propose that we abandon the Black Blades, the forces of the Duchy's First Division? We have underestimated the Wind Vestal. We shall not make that mistake again. You or I. If the Earth Crystal were to be awakened, there would no longer be hope for this world, and our ideals would fade to nothingness. But the Wind Vessel has no way of traversing the highlands that surround the Duchy. Only the heavy airships held by our cadre have the propulsion necessary to make the journey. Do not be so sure. The Wind Vessel has thus far outmatched us at every turn. Summon Victor and Victoria immediately. It seems the Council of Six may have to deal with the Vestal personally. Allow me to interrupt. You. Sage? I'm glad Why the is... innkeep was willing to take in Eagle. Why is the Sage there? Eagle said he looks so much like his late grandfather, it's scary. Enough about that! We must go to awaken the Earth Crystal! But we have no way of entering the Duchy of Eternia. Oh. Perhaps it's time to get out that creepy journal of yours, Ringabel. I'd hardly call it creepy. Anyway, I'll see what I can find. Hmm. There are a few notes that might apply. Earth Crystal. Grand Ship. Engine Room. Those are the words that seem to be coming up. Grand ship? Perhaps we'll find a lead there. 
Okay. To the grand ship we go. Oh. Before we go, why don't we actually spend a night here at the end? Yes, let's go ahead and uh, let's spend a night here. Might as well. Everyone's level 52. It's a good level to be at. Probably, up, honestly, well actually, I, I can't, I can't, you know, I don't know where the game's gonna go. Probably won't have to grind for a little while, considering how good we're doing. Ooh, side quest. The side quest is where we should go first. So let's drive over to that. Okay, everybody, so we're here at the side quest. We're probably gonna have to go in the manor for the side quest, like I thought. But, I, I know this episode might be a little shorter than usual, but I'm gonna end off the episode here, because I want to save that next side quest for its own episode. So guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.